How to Read an Audiogram Reading an audiogram can seem pretty complex, but once you know the basics, it's really pretty simple. First of all, you may be wondering, what is an audiogram? An audiogram is a graph that shows information about a person's hearing abilities. Let's take a look at the various parts of the audiogram. First, let's look at it from top to bottom. The audiogram measures sound intensity, or loudness, in decibels, which are listed from 0 decibels at the top to 120 decibels at the bottom. Running from left to right is frequency, or pitch, which is measured in hertz. The frequency starts on the left side with 125 hertz and goes up to 8,000 hertz on the right side. This is just like a piano keyboard that has the lowest frequencies on the left and the highest frequencies on the right. On a typical audiogram, you will also see two lines, one red and one blue. The red line represents the hearing in your right ear, and the blue line represents your left ear. If your audiogram does not have colors, then the line with the X's represent your left ear, and the line with the circles represent your right ear. Let's take a moment to focus on the sound loudness, which runs from top to bottom and is measured in decibels. If your hearing is normal, you should see an X or a circle that falls into the 0 to 20 decibel range for each frequency. That means you can understand speech in a noisy environment and no amplification is needed. If you have mild hearing loss, you will see the X or circle in the 20 to 40 decibel range. Mild hearing loss means you may be having difficulty understanding speech in noisy environments. It may also mean that you require a higher volume level when watching the television or listening to the stereo. Because of this, family members are often the first to notice. Moderate hearing loss will be marked in the 40 to 70 decibel range. With moderate hearing loss, you will frequently have difficulty understanding speech in noisy environments including the telephone, television, and at public gatherings. You may find that you are regularly asking people to repeat themselves and you get frustrated because you are missing what they are saying. People may also tell you that you speak too loudly in conversations. If you have severe hearing loss, the X or circle will fall in the 70 to 90 decibel range. This means you are having significant difficulty hearing during most types of communication and you may start avoiding noisy places where you know you will miss much of the conversation. And if your hearing loss is profound, you will see the mark in the 90 to 120 decibel range. At this level, you are having major communication problems in all situations. Profound hearing loss typically requires visual assistance while communicating, such as lip reading or sign language. Now let's look at the frequency, which runs from left to right. Vowels, such as A, E, I, O, and U, are the lowest pitch and fall towards the left side of the hearing range. Consonants, such as S, T, F, and SH, are higher pitched and fall towards the right side of the hearing range. Oftentimes, these higher frequencies are also associated with women's voices. This section of the audiogram is commonly referred to as the speech zone because most human voices reside within this range of frequency and volume. Now that we know what the various parts of the audiogram are, let's take a look at a few examples. In our first example, you will notice that this person has hearing that falls into the normal range up to about 1500 hertz. At 2000 hertz, their hearing starts to make its way into the mild hearing loss category, more so for the left ear. At 4000 hertz, there is a significant difference and the hearing is now in the moderate hearing loss category. At 8000 hertz, this person's hearing falls into the severe hearing loss category. In this next example, the person's hearing falls regularly within the mild hearing loss category, except at 4000 Hz, where it drops slightly into the moderate hearing loss area. Congratulations! You now know how to read an audiogram. In our next video, we will quickly show you how to compare your audiogram to the fitting range for each hearing aid so that you can make an informed decision about the hearing aid that is right for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.